Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe down below. If you enjoy it, give me a like, show some support in the comments. I love reading all of your comments. I do have a quick update. I have been gone for a little while now. Basically what happened was my computer broke and it's not that easy to buy a new computer. So finally I got a new one as well as a better editing software. So I'm so excited for you guys to see it. Hopefully there won't be any more computer issues like that. I did invest more money into this one than I did the last one, but I know it wasn't the best at updating you guys, so I just wanted to let you guys know really quick where I've been, why I haven't been posting, but I'm back now and I don't plan on going anywhere anytime soon. I have been posting on TikTok, which it is under Glamour D Dive, which is like the same thing as my YouTube channel as well as my Instagram, so be sure to check me out on those. The links will be in the description. And I do have some new animals that I added to my life. Sadly, PetSmart did throw away live animals, but luckily I was able to come in. I took them and they're doing really good. So be sure to watch this video and I'll show you guys updates on how everything is doing. But I got a new bird, which is right back there. I'll show you guys a little bit better in one second. Hey guys, this is Dinky. I have her outside right now. I know she is a little bit sleepy, so she's not too happy about being filmed. But I wanted to show you really quick. Something you will be seeing in the video are my snails, which I found these little guys thrown out. They're hiding right now. They're all over the place. But here are a couple. They're over by the heater, and then I have another one right here. My photo, my phone is picking this up pretty bad, but I hope you guys can see them. We still have Luna. She is crazy as ever. She has made a mess with paper towels, her toys all over the place. Say hi! Hey guys, so I just peeked inside of my Ulta and they threw out some Anastasia displays. I found two of these and then I did see a palette, maybe the Ambrosi palette or something like that. So really hot, but I'm going to go back in, I'm going to jump inside and see what I can find. I am inside and this is the palette that I saw and then there's another lip gloss. So, so far I found two things. Okay, so here's some more products. I'm just going to like grab everything and throw it in the box. Okay guys, so right here it looks like they threw a big box of Clinique items away. I'm just gonna pile them all into a box, but you can see there's a ton of different foundations and other items. It's like just a load of different stuff. I'm also seeing like eye pencils or maybe their lip pencils, but just a ton of Clinique items. Okay, so this is the box that I ended up with. It's just a bunch of Clinique foundations as well as a couple of other Clinique items. So I just found a, another box, it's like outside of the dumpster, but these are the set of Jeffree Star brushes. I'll show you guys where I found it. So I found it like right in this box. So I'm gonna double check this, I'm gonna get this in the car first. Okay, so right away I see a bag full of some type of testers and it looks like they didn't destroy them. So I also see another bag with more testers, it looks like nothing is too badly destroyed so i'm gonna grab these probably put them in this little box okay so i found a nice little spot and i'm gonna go through these bags i found this in a different bag as well as a little palette i haven't looked inside yet so it looks like it's in like perfect condition still it's not scraped out or anything it's a morphe highlighter Okay, so the first bag had a bunch of lip glosses as well as like these perfumes. There's four different kinds and they're all full, so that's really cool. And I'm excited to go through this next bag. So this one is really heavy, but there's looks like a bunch of oils and essential oils. This is pretty much full, so that's the first thing. It looks like just a bunch of skincare items. 
some oils, and I also see a few of these ColourPop eyeshadows. Okay guys, so this is actually crazy. There's a lot of noise going on, but as you can see, I found a bunch of ColourPop items, some essential oils, and a bunch of items from this brand, which I don't know how to say it, so please let me know. And I'll give you guys a more thorough look at the end, but so many items in this was so many items this was really cool i'm definitely gonna double check the dumpster i'm at my ulta and they it looks like they're throwing so much away um like in here i just see a bunch of makeup just a ton of stuff i already pulled some out so i'm gonna go through some of these boxes and see what i can find so i pulled some more stuff back there's um some makeup there some here i'm seeing a bunch Okay guys, so I am finding so much, um, I found an entire bag full, there's still more, but I think I'm gonna come back at night, hopefully no one else has, has hit it, so fingers crossed. Okay. okay guys, so I was dumpster diving at Ulta and I ran into a couple people, hey, we found some makeup, it, it was so cool, so it's kind of hard to see with the light, but we found some makeup, so we're gonna split it up. I thought I would show you guys really quick. There's some Smashbox, Bare Minerals, all kinds of things. So I'm gonna turn the flash on so you guys can see. Okay, so here's the little box we got. There's a bunch of powders, foundations, and a palette. So as you guys can see, it's like, it's really full. We both tried to go through it, but we think we got everything so i just wanted to share <laughs> introduce you guys it was nice Hi. meeting you so onto the haul from ulta i'm gonna do a little section by section but i got a, a bunch of these bare mineral matte powders they just look like this and i haven't opened them taken the stickers off yet but i wanted to show you some smashbox bb creams like i said the little perfumes they smell so good and then I found the Cali Kissed. This is like a blush highlighter palette. Just looks like this. Some different drugstore makeup. This is a, what is this? Uh, some type of cream from Bare Minerals, a Smashbox Lippy, and then a Jaclyn Hill palette. It's in pretty good condition. There's a couple of rough parts of it, but the outside's not the best. It did kind of stain as you can see. Next I found a bunch of ColourPop eyeshadows, the single ones, and some of them are getting close to hitting pan or half hit pan, but there's still a lot of use left in these. And then there's a bunch of these, which I'm gonna take a shot and say it's uni, but don't take me on that. If you guys know how to pronounce it properly, let me know. But there's, it's like a skincare line. I found a bunch of different skincares from them. So, all kinds of stuff. And then I found a Morphe blush, which it's per it's like a really pretty, it's actually a highlighter. It's a really pretty color. Some oil, and then some different Ulta lippies, as well as a blush, blush and bronzer duo. So this is pretty cool. And then in this box, I just have a load of these Clinique foundations. Um, I'm not even sure what to do with all of them, but just a bunch of different types of shades. It might be the entire line, like I'm missing a few shades, but I just thought this was really cool. There's a couple of different types. This is Stay Matte, and this is even better. So, a couple different shades, or I mean, tons of shades, but a couple of different lines of foundation. And then this one is just a total mess, so... It's a bunch of bare minerals stuff. Um, some of it looks like something might have been leaking. Maybe it was this oil because a lot of this stuff feels pretty oily. As you can see, there are a ton of lip products. They do have them taped for this way nobody can get into them, but I haven't gotten to cleaning these yet, but you can just see it's like a bunch of different shades and different types. I know there's some lip glosses, some mattes, so pretty cool just they got all oily from this so i'm gonna probably throw this one out since it's leaking 
Okay, but next there are some blushes, which I use these religiously. I love, love, love Bare Minerals. Their blushes, the Gen Nudes, are really good, so I would recommend these. So I found four of these, and they don't look too bad inside. I also found some little highlighter powders, and then a concealer, as well as a highlighter. And you can see it's all taped up still. I found some different liquids from Bare Minerals, like I said, the oil. And then this is a cleansing water, which I'm going to give a shot. It looks pretty cool, so that's cool. And then I found some liners and some e.l.f. sponges. So that's they're still in the packaging. That's really cool. Just a bunch of different things. I just have to clean all of it. It's so dirty still, but definitely a good score from Ulta. Okay, guys, I'm at a... Pet Smart, and you guys can see there's at least like 15, maybe 20 bags of dog food. They ripped and poured all of them out. They go all the way down to the bottom, just layers of dog food bags all destroyed. So, this is pretty sad. This is like their realistic part of dumpster diving, just a lot of waste. But so far, I have found a XL Pro Clipper. It's like a dog clipper as well as some blades or combs. But I'm just gonna keep checking just in case. Okay guys, so I actually looked inside this box. It's full of like different dog stuff. Like I guess these are shock collars. It's like full to the top of them. So I'm gonna grab them. There's also some more down there. I'm gonna get these in the car really fast. Hey guys, I'm at PetSmart and they threw a bunch of these bird water feeders out. I'm not too sure why, but I'm gonna grab them all really quickly and get out of here. It's a different PetSmart. I haven't been here before, so I don't know the area that well. And I just peeked in and there is so much dog food. So luckily they didn't rip everything apart so i'm gonna take all of these out and bring them to somewhere i can donate them at i have a shelter where i got my dog and they're always accepting donations even if they're expired so this is awesome pit smart i already got a bunch of dog foods out but they didn't rip all of them there's a bunch of cans so i'm just gonna fill this box up and take it to my shelter Okay guys, so I finished off with a crazy haul. My entire trunk is full of dog food, cat food. I have some down there. This box is full of different cat foods, dog food, it's crazy. And then also uh, I have more in my back seat. So literally my entire car is full of dog food and accessories, cat food, all of that so i'm here right now and i'm about to go knock on the door to get some help to donate all of this hey guys i am at a pet smart and somehow i got this huge tank it's a 60 gallon out of the dumpster but i have no idea how to get it in the car i cannot pick it up alone which i'm alone and <laughs> my boyfriend's at work and i know it's going to be gone when we come back so it's not broken at all which uh, i would love to start a fish tank like this so i'm gonna try my best hey guys really quick i'm at a pet smart and surprisingly it's a different one than the one that i found the snails at and i'm pretty sure i found in a live fish so i'm gonna go take you this is the dumpster it looks like this and I found this bag of fish and one of them is still moving. Hope you guys can see that. It's this one right here. I'm sure you guys can see that. He's still moving, so he's alive. It's really hot out, but this is what I just found. So three of them are dead and then one of them in here is still alive. Um, I already checked some other bags and then there might be one or two more so I'm gonna check them really quick 
And this is what it looks like. This is where I found the fish bags at. It just looks like this. Looks like there's one more bag. So, make sure nothing in here is alive. Looks like all of these guys are passed away, sadly. But I found one fish that is still alive. It's probably like 100, 105 degrees outside. So I'm really surprised that that one fish actually made it. So I'm gonna get him in the car. But I thought I would show you guys. This is disgusting. Um, I do have a fish tank at my house, so I'm going to add him. It's really hot, so if I'm talking like out of breath, that's why. And this <laughs> this is making me really mad. But you guys can see one of these fish are still alive. Um, I'm gonna get him home now. This way, nothing happens. Okay guys, I'm driving like this. I have the bag open just so he won't run out of air because I know that fish still need oxygen so hopefully this will help but this is how i'm driving home with him and here is my little aquarium as you can see all of the snails are doing good they're moving around we did lose a couple but i believe six of them are doing really good um so here's what the aquarium is looking like i just dumped the fish into a larger container until I can figure out what exactly to do. My aquarium is good with the snails, but I think I might run to PetSmart really quick to test the aquarium water to make sure it's okay for fish. I would hate to put him in there and he just passes away because of that. But as you can see, he is swimming. He looks like he's doing okay. Hopefully he can wait just a little bit longer. I'm gonna throw some food in here. Guys, just a quick update on the fish. It's not doing too well. I did get the water tested. The water is fine. Everything's fine except the fish. Um, I do have my snails in here, which they usually do not bother each other. As you can see right now, he is the only fish in here. So I'm not sure what to do. I'm not that experienced, but um, he's just kind of laying there. I've looked up things to do to help but I'm still gonna try I have a new tank a bigger tank that I'm prepping so hopefully he'll make it but just an update everyone I forgot to make an update but sadly this fish did pass away um, the snails are still okay but the fish just could not make it I'm going to insert some photos of how I found the snails I did not record picking them out of the dumpster, but I did record the bag that I found them in and really most of them were still alive when I found them. I'm at PetSmart again and I see a live fish. This is the third time. You can barely tell, but I can see that his mouth is moving. At first I thought he was dead, but you can see his mouth moving. Um, if you kind of tap him, he will move. So I'm going to grab him. I really hope I can save him. He doesn't look like he's in the best condition. I think he's been in this bag overnight. This was thrown out the night before. So I'm going to take him home with me. He's in the car and you can see he's not doing good. I live about 30 minutes so I'm really hoping he'll make it through the ride home. I'm going to open up the bag. This way he just gets some more air the bag open I'm in the car and I'm on my way home I just wanted to say that the past two live fish this might be another angel fish but the past two angel fish that are alive have been at the same pet smart I found the snails at a different pet smart I just wanted to let you guys know I think this is so sad and I really hope that this guy will make it the other one did not um, so we'll see I added the fish to the tank. Um, the tank is a little bit dirty. I'm going to be doing a reset on it, but he's really trying to swim. He's staying at the top. I hope hopefully he'll be able to make it and pull it through. I'm just not too sure. So I'll keep you guys updated on this fish. Thank you guys for watching my video. Um, it was definitely sad that I wasn't able to save either of the fish. Luckily, the snails are doing good. 
everything's okay with them, but I'm really bummed about the fish. I wish they could have made it, I could have saved them, but I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye out for other animals I might find. Anyway guys, have a good day. Bye.